I've struggled with my relationship with food for pretty much my entire teenage life and I'm 23 now. I haven't struggled as much in the past couple of years. I feel like I've really been healing my binge eating. I haven't binge eaten in over a year, probably nearly going on two years now. And I've not felt immense guilt or I've not feared foods at all for again, two or three years. And I'm finally starting my intuitive eating journey. I've been intuitive eating for nearly four months now and it's going really well. I'm loving it. It's making me feel amazing inside. It's making me look the same on the outside. <laughs> In this video today, I'm going to be talking you through how I intuitively eat because I remember when I didn't understand intuitive eating, I would always be like, how are people doing it? And I remember being so jealous of people who looked like it came so easy to them. But I will say to you, if you are calorie counting, if you've been calorie counting for a while, or you're interested in intuitive eating, just understand that it takes time. I made a video on social media, which actually got really quite popular about a year ago. And it said, I can't ever imagine intuitive eating. I just open a bag of chocolate and I eat the whole thing. I've changed my mindset from a year. I was jealous of the people who could intuitive intuitively eat and I think that jealousy shows what you want. Any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I hope you enjoy the video. Morning! I like to start the day with green tea at the moment. I find it hydrating, it feels good for me. I woke up this morning not particularly hungry so I don't tend to eat unless I'm starving first thing in the morning. Not starving but unless I'm hungry you know. There's a hunger scale by the way. There is this hunger scale that I will link in the description that can help you understand different levels of hunger because when you counting calories for such a long time and not listen to your body it can be difficult to know whether you're actually hungry or not like right now I feel like I've got energy to do tasks I'm just getting on with some things on my laptop at the moment so I'll just drink green tea in the morning until either I need to get a move on with my day so let's have breakfast so we can start the day or until I'm hungry enough because one thing I've learned is if you're hungry and if you genuinely want the food food tastes so much better. When you just count calories and put food into a box that you've got to fit it in that, it doesn't taste as good. Okay, it's time. I'm hungry now. It's weird because I've listened to myself every morning for the past three months, well, longer than three months now, nearly four months. I just know what I want in the morning now for breakfast. It's easier for me to choose and listen to what I'm actually craving. On the one hand, you've got to consider what you've actually got in the house, you know? You can't just be going out and being like, well, I'm craving pancakes, I'm gonna go leave the house and get pancakes. If you wanna do that, you do that, but I need to use the food that I've got in my house. <laughs> I've got avocado toast, I've got porridge, I've got a Greek yogurt bowl. Ooh, ooh, that's sounding good. Greek yogurt, oh, I don't have any granola, so I don't want that. I would have had that, but I don't have granola. I need to make some. I think I want avocado toast, and then I might make granola to have later. I could possibly have that for lunch. <laughs> Here we have avocado toast, a scrambled egg. I think I cooked the egg a little bit too long. It's a bit dry. Delicious. Mm. It's about 10 a.m. now and I'm gonna make myself some granola. I think I probably will end up having it for lunch because when it's freshly made, I just can't resist. And also drinking water. I must admit, I drink a lot more water now than I ever used to. And it's not like a, oh, you need to drink water, which obviously everyone needs to drink water. And I don't think it's bad to tell yourself to drink water because yeah, you need water to survive. I genuinely crave water now, weird. <laughs> Homemade granola is really easy by the way. All you need is oats, honey, oil, and brown sugar. Those are the four ingredients that you need. That will just make you the, the OT clusters, but then you can go in with additional things like sultanas, berries. At the moment, I like to do chia seeds, flax seeds, and almonds. Weird, because I don't usually like actual almonds but when they're coated in the honey sugary mix it makes them really nice oh and cinnamon <laughs> minutes in the oven and it should come out 
love to go up and brown. Then you break it up afterwards. Right, I'm gonna tidy up, have a cup of tea, and I'll see you when it's time to break the granola up and make our yogurt bowl. Or parfait. If I have a right bowl, I'm gonna make parfait, but if not, yogurt bowl it is. Here we have our granola. As soon as this is cooled down, because it's quite hot at the moment, We'll break it up and then I reckon it'll be time to make the yogurt bowl. Okay, it's just past 12 and I am hungry enough for lunch. So we're going to smash our granola. See how it literally, you could like chop this up and have it as a granola bar, but that's not what I'm doing. Let's break it up and then I'm going to make my yogurt bowl. I'm not gonna do it as parfait. This is what it looks like if it's parfait. I think I probably prefer it as parfait. I don't have the jar with me, I left it at Elliot's. So we're just gonna do a yogurt bowl. yogurt bowl raspberries strawberries granola as you've seen and it kind of looks a bit gross because i do mix it all up now i never used to do this it's something i'm just discovering that i like but it makes the granola go squishy so i like it cheers i'm going to react to the video that i made probably actually i don't know i imagine it's about a year ago so it was about intuitive eating i've not watched it since i posted it so i'm really intrigued it's funny because someone actually tagged me saying how comes you're intuitive eating now like have you changed your opinion on it like you said you could never sit there and just have a little bit of chocolate i basically replied saying i have changed my opinion but Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's find the video. Oh my God, it's weird. I posted it March, 2023. So over a year ago. I used to be obsessed with the idea of intuitive eating, but every time I used to intuitively eat, I'd end up putting on weight and then I'd end up not happy in my body. And that is the God honest truth. If I want to stay in the body that I'm currently at, I've kind of got to like work to keep it. I don't need to work hard or I don't need to under eat or anything like that. I just need to actively make sure I don't overeat. <laughs> I just think some people are naturally greedy. I just think I've got massive eyes that I just want a lot of food. Like I could happily do the 10,000 calorie challenge. And no, I'm not gonna do it. I feel like a lot of people would be like, oh, that's so sad that you've got to work to keep your body. Just love your natural body. I don't mean to say that in a condescending way. What I mean is you should love your natural body, but I can't help that I don't. And I feel confident when I am careful with what I eat. If I had the choice, I probably would eat chocolate every single day. I don't mean like one little small bar of chocolate. I mean, I would probably have a share bag every single day if I could. But yeah, I, I thought I'd just share that thought that I'm coming to the realisation that it's okay that I have to kind of work to keep the body that I'm in right now. And it's okay if every now and then I put on a bit of weight and I go on another little diet. I have completely changed since that video. I mean, I don't think I look like me anymore. <laughs> well, I probably do facially, but I've obviously changed mindset wise because I realized I can eat what I like whenever I like. And I genuinely like the thought that I said I would actually quite like to do the 10,000 challenge. 10,000 calorie challenge. I can't think of anything worse than stuffing that much food inside my body. My standpoint from that has completely and utterly changed. I believe the fact that that was a year and a half ago, nearly now. I probably was around the time that I binged for the last time. So I was probably still in my binge eating mindset. I wanted to have a whole bag of chocolate. And I tell you what got me out of that, it was by having the whole bag of chocolate and reducing the amount of times that I would overeat. I have learned that overeating does not serve me. I can eat the portion that makes me feel good in that moment. And it doesn't have to be a tiny bit, like the amounts, I, I'll eat like a slice of tiffin in the evening, but I won't want anything else afterwards because it doesn't doesn't taste as good anymore. That is wild. I never thought I'd get to this place. If you are thinking, 
what she's thinking. I used to be obsessed with the idea of intuitive eating. If you're obsessed with the idea of intuitive eating, just know that it's possible for you. I've got my hair in a hair mask. I'm to wash my hair this evening. And sorry, put on a different top as well. But for dinner, I've got chicken, which was in the fridge that I needed to use. And I'm having it with avocado and salad. In summer, I do just like having a lot of salads, I can't lie. I do have to force myself to have vegetables, like a warm, I know you can eat vegetables cold, but I don't really like eating them cold. I do force myself to have vegetables at least maybe two times a week, like I had vegetables for the past two days. So it's so nice having a salad now. I'm currently watching Love Island USA. It's better than Love Island UK, I can't lie. This is the only thing that I do at the moment that I think probably isn't intuitive because I've literally just had dinner, but I think it's just a, just a tiny little ice cream. I know this is a habit. Right now, after just finishing my dinner, my sweet tooth is really tingling and I think, what's the harm? So yeah, maybe it is intuitive. I've had a shower, that's why my hair is wet. Finishing the day with some tiffin and some raspberries. I've got this one which is fudge and caramel and i think i prefer this one which is crunchy as you can tell by the honeycomb this is my little sweet treat that i have in the evening at the moment i am obsessed absolutely tiffin obsessed anyway thank you for watching and if you liked this video let me know and i'll see you in the next video